even like that from when I was eight, I knew it was something I, I shouldn't tell people. It was nothing my mom ever said. Well, don't tell anyone I'm undocumented. I was just, I guess, afraid. Smart enough to be afraid on my own. Hi. I mean, every time we we drive, it's not something that we like buckle in and think, wow, if we get pulled over, it could be like really, like, it could cause a lot of like problems. It, it isn't said out loud, but as you like buckle in, you're just like, all right, well, we hope that this outing turns out okay. It's just something that's always like in the back of your mind. I think it's kind of um, taboo to bring up the elections at school right now because they're so extreme. And with a school where like the majority of the population is Mexican or Hispanic of some sort, um, it's kind of like no one wants to step on anybody's toes, but you know the teachers that like Trump and you know the teachers that hate the teachers that like Trump. Like, there's a lot of tension, I think. My mom has gotten like um, really, uh, she's brought up the, our plan, I guess more like we've kind of talked about like what what would we do if they got sent back what me and my cousin would be expected to do who would care for my sisters what we're expected to do with like income and stuff like that if whenever i start stressing about like school or something i'm like oh well i'm gonna graduate soon like everything that i've worked for has come to this point for until now and sometimes I just think about like, if something happens to her, she's not gonna come see me graduate. And every morning she's dropped me off, and every breakfast she's ever made me, and every field trip she's ever like helped chaperone. Every permission slip she signed, everything she's ever done, she won't be able to see the the end of it. It's easier to avoid being deported every single day of your life than to try to pursue being here legally. I think it's just like ridiculous how how hard it is, how difficult it is. So I don't know. I think I think once people are already here and they've demonstrated that they're wanting to become a part of this nation and to like help this nation and represent this nation, then I don't see why people would close the door on them.